Hey guys, it's in Designs here. Um, welcome to my second commentary posted on YouTube on this channel. Um, feeling a bit more confident than my last uh, commentary. Um, hopefully that sounded a bit better as well, because my last commentary was done at like half two in the morning, so... Uh, yeah, I don't normally sound like that. I'm a bit more cheery than that, so on that one I sounded sort of undead, but... Nevertheless, we'll get on with this second commentary. Um, don't know if you can hear, but it's raining outside, so I'm um, kind of stuck in the house, and I was a bit bored, so I thought I'd do a commentary. It's got nothing to do with any of my series that I've got going on my channel. I mean, I've got about two or three different series going on my channel, and this is a completely random commentary. It's got nothing to do with any of them. This is a commentary about the different software you guys might need if you are to approach the whole YouTube um, background. And if you, if you want to approach it in the way I did, which was edit and GFX, intros, backgrounds, all that sort of stuff. So it's just a little um, helpful guide on um, some of the basics, basic programs you might need in order to um, become successful. Obviously I'm doing it at a very slow pace, but nonetheless it's getting, I'm getting there. Anyway, let's crack on. Um, this, is, this recording's being done on an old laptop. I'm doing this to show that... You don't need a powerful machine to run these um, programs at all. My last, my last um, tutorial, my last voice tutorial, that was done on this computer as well. Again, just to show you guys that, well, you don't need a powerful machine to make these voice tutorials or whatever. And um, as far as I know, all, all of our, um, pro, all of our like videos that don't include screen recording, like, like what I'm doing now, will be done on my other laptop. Um, which is more powerful, it runs a bit faster as well, but nevertheless, let's get into the first program. first program which I'm going to be showing you guys is a program called Cinema 40. Now, you would have seen this in my last um, video. It w it's just a program which I... Um, it's probably the most important program for any editor, because it... It basically is um, where you'll be making all your intros, all your professional open GFX with lighting effects, the 3D effects, all that sort of stuff. So this is a must-have for anyone who's going to be approaching the editing scene of YouTube because it's just a perfect, it's just the perfect program for any editor, especially if you want to make intros because intros are relatively easy to make on here. I'm going to be showing you ne next time I do a commentary. I'm going to be showing you guys. It'll be an our voice tutorial on how to create a polyfx editor. If you don't, if you guys don't know all these editing terms, don't worry. I'll explain in in, a vid, in the next video, which will probably be up, to, be up tomorrow. So, guys, look forward to that. Um, subscribe, obviously, if you want to, um, you know, know the exact time when it's going to be up. You obviously don't have to. Um, just, you know, if if you enjoy my content, subscribe because it will help. It'll help you guys a lot. When if you when you want to know when the next video is going to be up. Anyway, I'm rambling, so um, let's let's get on with it. Cinema 4D, it's just... This is obviously the trial version, um, which lasts for 30 days, I believe. The problem with the trial version for this is that it... It, do, it does sort of um, lack in the original content of the actual program in terms of... You can only... Um, you can only render out an intro in, I think it's 640, so that's about 480p, 480p, which is standard definition, it's not too bad. You can only render out in that in the trial version, obviously in the real version you can render it out in 720p and all that stuff. Um, so it does actually like, sort of hold you back um, a bit on the trial, so I would recommend getting the full version. However, um, you might want to research into getting the full version for free because I know you can, trust us, I know you can, because I've, I've, I've got it for free on my other one. It is, these editing programs are so overpriced, believe us. Like, this Cinema 4D, this is, ver this is version R12, this goes this goes for around £100 pound. It's very expensive, and it's really not worth it. If, you, if you're going to pay the actual money for it, you might as well try and find a way to get the program for free. Um... So yeah, they'll be it, these uh, these editing programs are very expensive. So try and research into um, getting these programs for free. Anyway, moving on. Next program I'm going to show you guys is Photoshop. Now I'm sure you guys will be familiar with this. 
Photoshop is just an all-round good um, program. It's very, very well known within the editing community. This is where you guys will be making all your backgrounds, your YouTube backgrounds, um, even um, wallpapers for your actual lap laptop or computer. This is where I would make them, if you want to customise it anyway. Um, it's also where you'd make your um, less, I, I suppose you'd say less professional um, GFX, because you can make 3D effects on this, but that's, it just takes too long. You'd, you'd, you'd be much better off going to Cinema 4D and following my last tutorial on how to make professional GFX. Um, this is good for logos, um, YouTube display pictures, definitely. Um, I've made mine on here. Um, it's a great all-round program. Don't know um, any specifics on how much this costs or anything because I got I got um, this as standard with my laptop once uh, once it was given to us. This was already installed. I'm not sure if um, someone already installed it or if it came as standard, but who knows? Not a lot I can say about this program. I don't use it a lot. Obviously, like I said, I only use it for certain like backgrounds or logos, and I don't really do them compared to anything else. So we'll move on to the next program, which is Sony Vegas. You guys should be pretty familiar with this. Sony Vegas is um, where you'll be doing all your rent, your all your actual rendering. If you um, replay the video, or if you just remember, um, I said about Cinema 4D how it can only um, render out in about 480p. It's standard definition, so it's good enough. But if you're like me and you want to give the viewers um, seven, a 720p or 1080p quality option then get, get Sony Vegas. Sony Vegas is basically where you can put you can input any um, video file down here and you can actually render out into any um, resolution you want. 1080p, 720p, anything really you want. 360p, <laughs> not sure why you'd want to render out into that, make the quality worse, but whatever. Um, your choice, I suppose. Um, you've got tabs here as well. This is a very good editing program. Um, you can, you've got media generators, that's like your basic text, your solid colours, video effects, which is stuff like colour correction, brightness, increase. You could defocus the camera, make it look more blurry, It would, and in certain cases that would give it a better effect. Transitions, which is something along the lines of... It's hard to explain transitions, it's sort of like... It, um, there's a gap, in, it, it, it makes a gap in between um, two separate video files makes a gap in between them and that gap is filled with you know maybe here's an example something like that i'm not sure if, i'm not sure if you can see that i'm sorry guys but um if i don't know i'm, I'm sorry transitions are a bit hard to explain but yeah and obviously you've got your project media here which is where you import all your media your audio your video stuff um, again, Sony Vegas. Sony Vegas. Um, this I've got Pro 10 here. It's, again, it's obviously the trial because um, this computer is just like for screen recording only, just to show you guys you don't need a um, powerful computer. Um, this is Vegas Pro 10, and this costs in excess around 200 pound, which is that's a ridiculous amount for this program. It's a good program. I wouldn't pay 200 pound for it really. Again, um, try and get the version for free, um, doesn't have to be 10, 9, all from um, versions 10 to 8, they're all brilliant versions. Anything lower and you're yeah, kind of stretching it a bit, it's not as good, I wouldn't re really recommend them. Because if you've used um, the trial for Pro 10 and you go on to like Pro 6 maybe, then you'll, it'll just be quite difficult um, to come to terms with it, whereas not, whereas 8 and 9 um, versions are sort of similar. Anyway, I'm ranting on a bit, so we'll move on. Um, Camtasia Studio. Now, it doesn't have to be Camtasia Studio. You can see my microphone need a flutter on there, but... Um, <laughs> um, Camtasia Studio. It doesn't have to be this, but Camtasia Studio is what I'd recommend for someone who's using a PC. A Mac, I'm pretty sure that... You get the screen recorder as standard. I'm, I think so. I'm not quite familiar on the terminology because I don't really use Macs at all. But 
um, Camtasia Studio, I definitely recommend this because it brings together the recording software for your screen, as well as some basic editing tools. I mean, you've got zoom and pan callouts, audio. You've got you've even got some basic transitions in this as well. Record audio. You could even record your webcam if you want. I'm not much of a webcam person though, so I don't usually do that. Um. Hmm, there's not really much to say about this. I'm not sure on the actual price range of this because I've never actually checked myself. Because, I don't know, actually, I'm not sure why. I'm, I, I would assume it's, co it's overpriced like most of the programs here. And again, I'd look into... Um, I'd look into some, some way of getting this program for free. The majority of um, trials for these programs are around... 30 day trials, so it's it's actually good value to be honest. F 30 days is it might not seem like a lot of time, but it's a good stretch of if you're just starting out and stuff. So and like I said, you can always research into getting these programs for free. I'm pretty sure you can get the majority of these programs for free. Now the last program, which unfortunately I don't have, is Adobe After Effects. Now there's a reason I don't actually have this on me. It's because this, this laptop, as well as my original laptop, is a 32-bit or 32-bit laptops, and I couldn't find a trial for After Effects, which is under, which is 32-bit. I can only find 64-bit laptops. Sorry, 64-bit trials. Um, so unfortunately, I can't show you it. Um, After Effects, I'll give you a basic description. Of it. After Effects is basically it works with Cinema 4D to give yeah intros which you might make it gives them a bit of extra effects on them you know it's it's very good I, I i definitely recommend i don't use it because after effects is more or less for people who want to severely like um edit edit the um videos or stuff i don't do that i do basic i do basic um editing to the vi to videos that is anyway and Basically, After Effects would be for the people who are using, who will be editing montages, maybe Call of Duty montages. That's a perfect example because they use color correction, um, other, other different special effects on the video itself. Um, I can't really think of much else to say. Those are the standard programs. Uh, I will be getting a Alienware. M14X gaming laptop very soon, maybe in the next few months. And um, I want to ask you guys something. Would you um, like it if I set up a second channel, or maybe just on this channel, in um, sort of not a let's play, but just gaming videos in general? Because the M14X is great for running games. It's a very powerful gaming laptop, and um, if you might have saw in the, at the start. Um, I'm sort I'm sort of reinstalling Oblivion, and I was wondering if you guys want to see wanted to see that. I've got Amnesia as well. Amnesia: The Dark Descent. Uh, it's pretty. It's it's meant to be a scary game. There it is. There on the desktop. Um, it's a pretty scary game. It scares the shit out of me. So it would make for a good live commentary. But I think that's the end of this video. Uh. As, as always, comment, rate, subscribe. If you guys want have any suggestions for future videos, please feel free to leave that in the comments. And I'll see you guys later.